everyone so today is going to be kind of a different video than my usual videos so I'm just going to be talking about my acne story or just all about how I had acne basically and just how I cleared it and um, how it really influenced me and changed me as a person having acne growing up and I'm gonna go ahead and insert pictures and things like that along with it and basically I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you how acne changed my life so if you're interested, then keep on watching. As you can tell, I am not wearing any makeup right now, like at all. I currently just have my skincare products on me right now. I just thought it would be best that I do this kind of a video where you can see the real me because that's basically what this video is. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I believe I started having acne around the age of probably 11 or 12. I used to just start out with a couple of zits here and there, nothing major. I always remember having oily skin. I actually have combination skin, but back then it was pretty oily um, growing up. And I also did live on the East Coast at the time, so it was also very humid, so I feel like that didn't really help with the whole oily situation at hand. There was never anything major until a little bit later. I don't even remember like a day when I just woke up and had a bunch of acne. I feel like it just kind of came slowly with time and I just remember I would try every single thing to try to get rid of it like I would just try to scrub it away with those harsh harsh scrubs which you should not be using ever um, I'm actually in school right now to be an esthetician and my teachers say it's really bad to use those kind of scrubs that have like the apricot seeds or any kind of really harsh scrubs like that because it actually is making little tiny microscopic cuts in your face because it's such a harsh material to be putting on such a delicate area such as your face. And especially if you have acne or inflamed acne, you definitely shouldn't be putting any kind of a harsh scrub on your face because it's just going to irritate it even more, make it more inflamed, make it worse. But of course at the time I did not know that. <laughs> so I mean I used scrubs, I used um, anything. I would try a new face wash like every month which is also not a good idea. You should really try and stick to like products that you know work because if you change up your skin routine like so often then your skin is just going to be confused and it's just going to break out. So I ended up trying Proactive a couple of times. My sister actually raved about Proactive and it worked for her really well so I figured you know I'd try Proactive and um, unfortunately I didn't think I sticked to the routine very well so it didn't work out for me. I don't know, I just remember always trying so many different things, little acne creams, everything. And it just seemed like no matter what I tried, it just didn't do anything for my face. It just would make it worse or just stay the same. I would always wake up with so much acne that I couldn't even count. If you tried to count how much acne I had on my face at any given day, it just it's just so much. At that time, I didn't care as much. Like, I did try all those things, like I said, to get rid of it, but at the same time, I wasn't at my lowest point yet of my self-esteem. Like, my self-esteem wasn't so low that I, like, felt disgusting. Like, at that time, also, I didn't even wear makeup. Like, I didn't wear cover-up, anything like that, concealer. I just, you know, I was pretty young. Like, I didn't really know what all that was out there to cover stuff up. I mean, the only kind of makeup I saw was, like, <laughs> mascara and stuff like that. I would wear, actually I didn't even wear mascara for the longest time because people used to make, not really make fun of, but I had a friend, I guess, I don't know if she's my friend, but she always pointed out my eyelashes and would say they're so long and I feel like everyone would always point out my eyelashes and I was the type of person back then who really wanted to blend in with the crowd. I didn't want to stand out. I didn't want people staring at me and people would always comment on my eyelashes being so, so long, which I am so grateful for now. I love my eyelashes. They're one of my favorite features on myself, but back then I just hated them and I wouldn't wear mascara for the longest time because it would really, really make them stand out and everyone would point them out. And even if it's a good thing, like I just didn't like the attention. I really didn't. And so the only kind of makeup I really wore back then was just eyeliner and it was just on my bottom lash line. Like I feel like that's what all my friends did and that's just the only kind of makeup I felt like I needed, I guess, at the time. Sometimes I started wearing eyeshadow, but I really didn't venture into the makeup industry until um, much later. One in particular time that I remember feeling so low about myself with my acne would be when I went to Tennessee with my family on a family trip. It was actually because my dad worked for the government and he got to travel a lot for his job, so we often went with him 
and it was just kind of like a little mini vacation for us it was so fun I loved we'd go to Florida all sorts of cool places and this one just happened to be Tennessee I'd never gone there before I just thought it'd be cool and so we stayed at like the coolest hotel I've ever stayed at. It was called the Gaylord Hotel and it was, it was one of those hotels where it's so cool that I didn't even want to leave the hotel. Like it had restaurants and they had like a little river running through it and you could go in little boats and it just looked like you were outside almost when you're inside. It's, it was crazy. It was You'd have to look up pictures. It's so beautiful. And I just remember being so in awe of that hotel and I was like this is such a cool trip. You know being so excited to be on this trip. This was also one of the times when my face was just so, so bad with acne. See, this was also when I didn't wear cover-up or anything, so I was just out there for the world to see. And, you know, I... I don't know. I know I was self-conscious at the time, but I usually just kind of ignored it or tried to ignore it. I don't think I looked in the mirror very often. I don't know what I did, but... I just remember this one particular instance where my dad was introducing me to some of his coworkers or something like that, some of his work friends, whatever. And I just remember them staring at me like, I just felt like they weren't staring at me. Like they were staring at my acne. They weren't looking at me. And, you know, that's kind of how I felt a lot of my life. I always felt like people were looking at my acne instead of me as a person. And, you know, it's really hard for anyone who has acne you can totally relate. You know, all my friends I feel like never had as bad of acne as me. Like they'd have a couple of zits here and there. And then my sister of course had like flawless skin for the most part growing up and I was always just the one with a bunch of zits everywhere. And you know, I even had like acne on my back, on my chest. It was everywhere and it was just, it was just hard. I was really quiet so not many people really picked on me for that in particular. I just remember this one instance I was walking in front of this lady that my dad knew or something and she was like and I was wearing a like a tank top where you could see my back and she saw all my back acne and she was like what is all that on your back like she just didn't know what it was I guess I don't know but I just remember feeling so self-conscious after that and I don't know it's a really rough subject the whole reason I'm making this video is because I know there are so many other people out there dealing with acne and I just figure maybe if I share my story then it'll make someone feel like they're not alone in this world because I remember I looked up these kind of videos when I was at a very low point in my life feeling so self-conscious like I didn't want to leave the house and I have so many more stories about my acne. Fast forward a couple years I moved to Utah my acne is still pretty bad but I feel like my acne is a roller coaster and it would just get there would be bad years, there would be good years, there would be good months, there would be bad months of where my face is kind of cleared up and I just have a couple of little spots and then there would be times when it's just like my whole face is a big zit, you know? <laughs> like I just, it was never, like I was never consistently with bad acne but I just always had acne. Like there was never a day when I had a clear face. And I remember when I moved to Utah, everyone at my high school wore makeup and it was such a different environment. Everyone that I, like all the girls had their hair curled, they all had, they were all so beautiful, they all had makeup on, and you know, this is before I started wearing makeup really, so I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was like, what is makeup I should wear? They all look so pretty. And so I ended up, that's when I kind of started getting into makeup, honestly, and that's when I discovered foundation and all that. And it really boosted my self-esteem quite a bit. I felt so much better wearing cover-up. It was a hassle having to cover up so much acne, but I don't know, I feel like I had a clear little spot when I first moved here, and that was about six years ago, so. Um, my acne was pretty good for a lot of my high school years, actually. I feel like my acne got bad again when I moved out of my house, and I don't know if it was my diet or the climate change, I don't know, but I ended up moving to St. George for about a year on and off and my acne was at its absolute worst. It was about as bad as that one trip in Tennessee and that was where it was my worst and it was just so bad. Like I remember since I wasn't at home anymore my family's used to looking at my acne you know I go barefaced all the time at home obviously so I was so terrified because I had roommates and obviously I didn't want to wear makeup at night time and I didn't want to hide out in my room because I have acne, you know, and I didn't want them to see me like that. I just remember I would wear foundation to bed almost every night. Like, or if I washed my face, I would hurry and like run to my room. Like I would hurry so they wouldn't see. It was really, really hard. And I also ended up getting a boyfriend down there and 
um, a lot of times he would spend the night and I did not want to take off my makeup. I would sleep with my makeup so many times and I knew it was bad for my face to sleep with the makeup but I didn't want him to see me at my worst in my opinion. I didn't want him to see me like that and it was so hard. It was just horrible. It was horrible. I felt so self-conscious about it. I felt so disgusting like it was so hard to cover up because it was so much acne and I would try using like acne creams and it would just get dry and that's another thing like acne products often really really dry out your skin and I remember even in Maryland I would use acne creams and stuff and I remember this one time I was going to school and my dad was driving us and my skin was so dry and I had foundation over it or something and it was peeling and I just started crying and I was like please take me back home I want to you know, fix it because it, my face was like peeling off and it looked disgusting and I was like, I don't want to go to school like this. So I ended up driving back so I could try and fix it, but I don't know. It, it was just a really rough time, um, especially when I did move out on my own like that. So yeah, I ended up wearing cover up a lot. My other story about a time that I really struggled with my acne. So you know how I said I wanted to be an esthetician, right? I actually started school down in St. George um, only for like a month or two. But a lot of the days you didn't wear makeup because you're practicing facials on each other basically every day. And so you'd be wasting your makeup if you wore it. And I remember the first day I wore a face full of makeup because, you know, first impressions are everything. And I didn't want my classmates to see me like a mess, you know. So obviously I wore makeup. I looked good. Everyone else wore makeup too, you know. And then, of course, the teacher's like, so we're going to have the more advanced students practice facials on you guys so you guys can experience a facial and we were all kind of pissed off because we all wore makeup that day obviously but I mean I feel like they were all a little bit less mad than I was because none of them had the acne that I did at all and so I was dreading my facial I was like crap they're gonna take off all this makeup all these girls are gonna see me without makeup it's a bunch of strangers you know I don't want that I don't want them to see me like that and so obviously they did end up seeing me like that a lot. And I just remember it was the hardest thing ever. I felt so gross. I felt like everyone was staring at my acne. I felt so ugly. I felt disgusting. And I just remember like even when I drove in my car to school when I didn't wear makeup, I just remember feeling like so embarrassed to even drive in my car because of how many people I would pass in my car because I didn't want them to see my acne. And it's just, it just was so bad. Like, I, my self-esteem was at its, the, like, the lowest point it ever has been in my life at that point. I ended up moving back home, obviously, and I made a whole video about this, but I ended up seeing a skincare expert. She's not a dermatologist. She's actually a master esthetician, which is what I'm going to school for right now. And she changed my life. This is what my face looks now. As you can see, I definitely don't have a perfect face, but like I have a couple breakouts down here and acne scarring, but you know, this is probably the best my face has ever been since like before I started having acne, you know. I still have like pitted acne scars like on the sides of my face where I used to break out a ton. I have, you know, darker acne scars in other places, but I don't even care at this point. Like I don't even want to get my acne scars lasered off or anything like that because I feel like in a way acne changed my life acne made me who I am today and I don't want to get rid of my scars because it's like almost shows you where how far I came I don't know it sounds kind of superficial and dumb but anyways this lady changed my life she completely fixed my acne I mean acne is a huge thing most people have and it's mostly hereditary so it's really hard to fix because most of us are born with it so it's like how do you fix something you're born with basically and you know she taught me how to take care of my face what you have it's a lifestyle change you you're not supposed to eat peanuts you're not supposed to eat sh shellfish dairy anything like that and dairy and peanuts were a big part of my diet before so you know that obviously was not helping with my acne <laughs> not only that but there's a huge huge list of products in anything you put on your face that are comedogenic which means they clog your pores which causes acne so I had to basically do a huge declutter of my makeup and get rid of anything that had those products that I'm putting on my face. All of those steps were so worth it. 
she would extract my face about every month and use a light chemical peel. So that is what cleared my face <laughs> and obviously using all of her products and all of the makeup lines that don't include any pore and clog ingredients. I feel like I am so much more confident these days without acne. I mean, it was a huge thing in my life and now that I don't have it as much anymore, it's just... I mean, I feel great. Like, I, since I'm in school to be an esthetician now, I have to go days without makeup. And I honestly feel confident when I don't wear makeup because it's like, you know, this is my skin. I look good without makeup. It's a little discolored like everyone's skin, but it's not like how it was. And I can gladly say I don't feel like how I did before. If acne is something that you're dealing with, just know that you are beautiful and you don't need makeup you don't need to have perfect skin to be beautiful and I know that's not what society says but I wasted so many years of my life feeling so self-conscious about my acne when I could have been happy if I just accepted who I was so that's really what this video is about and I'm just really trying to let you guys know that if you have acne you're struggling with acne that you're not alone and I understand exactly what you're going through. I really hope this video somehow helped you guys or made you feel differently about acne. It's not like a lot of people have a misconception about acne and think it's because you're dirty or you don't wash your face or you're using so much cover up or something like that. No, it's so much more than that. Most of it's hereditary. So if you're gonna make fun of someone with acne, just don't. It's a waste of time. Anyways, I really hope you guys like this video and if you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.